All right, so this is the brand. Oh, this is the anterior portion. This is the anterior posterior portion. This is the inferior and this is the uh, superior. Okay, so the brand, we have the two hemisphere, left and the right hemisphere. And it's divided by the longitudinal fissure. And down here, we have the cerebellum. And it's divided by the transfer fissure on the posterior side. Okay, let's go over the lobes a little bit. On this section right here is the frontal lobe. This section right here is the parietal lobe. And the occipital lobe is right here. And the temporal lobe is right here. And the temporal lobes and the frontal lobes are divided by the lateral sulcus. And it runs from this section to this section. Okay, it doesn't run all the way 360. Okay, um, this guy right here is your central sulcus. It's a sulcus that runs nonstop from your longitudinal fissure all the way down to the lateral sulcus. And the uh, central sulcus is the one that divides the frontal lobe with the parietal lobe. And you can see that the virus that right on the front enter to the central sulcus is the pre-central virus. And the virus that posterior to the central sulcus is the what? Post-central virus. Okay. So when I take the brain up, there's one lobe that we didn't talk about. It's your insula. You have to pull out your temporal lobe and that's right there is your insula, deep inside. And that's for taste. Okay. So that's the, um, all right, by the way, this entire upper portion right here is your cerebrum, cerebellum is right here, and the outer cortex, uh, that, the outer layer that covering the entire cerebrum is the cerebral cortex, which is the gray matter, and that's where the information is being processed. All right, so if I, so on this model, we got the uh, satchel cut of the brain. Right here, when it, this is satchel cap, and that is your corpus callosum. It's a bundle of uh, fiber, the axon, which is the uh, white stuff. Um, that's allowed the right and left hemisphere to communicate. And down below is the septum pellucidum, and that separates the lateral ventricles. So deep in there is one of the lateral ventricles, and I'll show the lateral ventricle later. So down below that is the fornix. That's the floor of the lateral ventricles. And that's the cerebrum. And now we're going down to the dicephalon, which contains the thalamus and hypothalamus and accessory area. Right there, that area is your thalamus. It relays all the information, uh, the sensory information. And the floor of the thalamus is a hypothalamus. That's a structure that uh, control or regulate both nervous system and the endocrine system. And the yellow, uh, not really yellow, but the round thing right in the middle of the thalamus is the intermediate mass. And this guy will connect the left and the right thalamus together, allow the two thalamus to communicate. Up here, we got the choroid plexus, which secretes the CSF, cerebral spinal fluid. So this is the hypothalamus again, and below the hypothalamus is your pituitary gland and the hypothalamus connect with the bacterial gland through a structure called infundibular. Okay, any questions so far? Um, go along, we got this guy is the optic chiasm, where the optic nerve cross. On the back, we got this guy right here is the pineal gland, and this guy was to create the melatonin, one of the hormones for the sleeping cycle. All right, from here, this is, these are the extra, extra stuff. Anterior, middle, white, uh, posterior, white commissioner. The middle white commissioner can be called the intermediate mass. Both names fine. This is area right here is where the third ventricle. You can see that little indentation. So if you put it on half the brain, so they will make a space, which is the third ventricle. Okay. Now we go down to the brainstem. The brainstem has three structure: midbrain, pons, and the medulla oblongata. The midbrain is right below your hypothalamus, and it right in the front of the midbrain we got the M body, which is the mammalian body, and this guy will control the feeding um, stuff, which is your you know swallowing and leaking. 
And on the back, which is a poster of the Mipran, which is your copper cotton chimney, and there will be the superior and inferior colloquy. And superior colloquy is for vision, and inferior colloquy is for auditory. And in the mid portion of the midbrain, we have a canal called um, cerebral aqueduct, or we can call it uh, aqueduct midbrain. It runs fine. Um, where is that? Can you find me a brainstem model to bring over here?